Um, Luke's commented on the lesson learned from Sunday in terms of the importance of sustainable power. And in addition to what Luce mentioned, we also have, we also invite our customers to take up, we have a green energy loan that allows our customers to really invest in green energy as they look to really ensure less dependency on other types of energy to, to power their homes and their businesses. Um, we spend a lot of time speaking to about the special fund um, that is now available for our customers, both our retail customers and small businesses. And I'm now going to ask Jordi Griffiths Irving, our Executive Director of the Scotia Foundation, to give you greater insight into the work of our volunteers and the work that will be done with the various schools as we reach out even further into our communities. Jordi? For me, this is a very important morning because a few days ago when we picked up the newspaper and we saw the devastation and we heard about what was happening to the schools, it was as if my office became a home. The phones were ringing from our volunteers wanting to know what can we do. And at least two persons came in with a picture of Norwich Primary School. And said, this is our school, this is our school. Now, Bruce announced that we will be contributing $8.3 million to the repair of schools. Among these schools is Norwich Primary, and we say it's one of our schools because it is one of seven schools where we operate a breakfast feeding program. And so we are very connected with Norwich. And the principal, it's so good to have you here this morning and you can rest assured that we will help you to recover because as the same one our children deserve a bright future. So Norwich, we understand that the grade one block has been totally destroyed and we will be contributing three million dollars to the repair of that classroom. Over in St. Mary, there are five schools and we chose primary schools simply because the first thing that came to mind was children are preparing for the GSAT. And here at Scotiabank, the GSAT examination is very important to us because each year we award 15 scholarships to the most outstanding students in the GSAT. And so our thoughts were with those children who would be preparing for that exam. We you know just how uh, anxious they can be. So anything that interrupts that preparation is something that we would want to step in and help with. So we chose Highgate Primary, Karen Hall or Age, Karen Hall Infant, Bellevue Primary, and the Zion Hill Primary. Now these schools are among the list provided by the Ministry of Education of schools that have been affected, the costs have been provided, the total for the schools in St. Mary is $5.1 million. All these schools, thank you, all these schools have suffered damage mainly to their roofs, some to their storerooms, canteens, uh, bathrooms, and even poultry houses, and most of these schools depend on their um, farming, whether it is poultry or uh, 
crops to provide um, additional support for their breakfast and lunch programs. So we know it's very important, as well as for their agriculture studies. So this is where our support will come in. And then there's one school here in Kingston, St. George's College, that had extensive damage to their library, flooded up. So we will also give some assistance there. Our volunteers. I'm very, very pleased to be a part of an organization that focuses a lot on giving back and volunteering. And even when there is no organized program of giving back, our volunteers, they come to us and they say, we want to give back. Because here at Scotiabank, volunteering to us is very, very critical to the culture of our organization. So we've had staff coming back to say, we want to be in those communities. We want to make a difference. We need to do something. So at all these schools where we will be contributing funding, we will also be organizing our volunteers to go in and assist. Um, whether it is putting back the libraries, uh, cataloging the books and putting them back on the shelves, whether it is painting, cleaning up, and I tell you, social bankers are very good builders. We have been trained by the missionaries of the poor over a number of years. You should see us build a house in one day. So we are excellent bankers, but we are also excellent volunteers. So you can rest assured that this will be done. Now, over the weekend, we also got news that there was flooding in uh, parts of Hanover, that the Magathu River overflowed its banks, and there were 20 families that were displaced. We got in touch with the Salvation Army in Western Jamaica and our volunteers in that end of the island. So we will also be assisting those families with mattresses as well. Uh, and you'll hear more about that. The Salvation Army, as our CEO mentioned, we've been um, working with them from at least 2003. We've been launching the kettle right here. So next Tuesday, the Salvation Army will launch its annual Christmas kettle appeal right here, and it will be launched by our president and CEO as usual. And I mention it now because I'm appealing to you right across Jamaica, you will see the Salvation Army kettles in our branches, and this year, this time, more than ever, your contribution is needed. So I'm going to ask you to spread the word so that we can go after the contributions which will be used. Normally it's used to provide meals for those who are homeless and um, educational and health services, but as you already are aware, that amount of money is going to be stretched. So all your contribution, we welcome that. So that is just a reminder of that to come. And finally, why are we doing this? We are doing this because we want to bring hope and inspiration. Hope to our children to build a bright future. There is nothing that can change in our country if we do not invest in our children. And here at Social Bank, we have seen the outcome of our investment, and so we are convinced that this is the right thing to do. We are committed to doing that, bringing hope and inspiration to our children, to our communities, and even to our staff. They want to know that they are part of an organization that gives back. And we want to say to all of Corporate Jamaica, that we join all those who have already responded, and we are doing this now to inspire those who have not yet responded to do 